Ah. Well, that's the end of the water part of our journey here at the old portage. Ah. Well, that was definitely hard to get out of the bayou all by myself, which I totally did just then, all by myself. Here we are, the old portage. The reason New Orleans is where it is in the beginning of Bayou Road. This road predates the city by millennia, conceivably. I mean, human habitation in Louisiana goes back a very, very, very long time. We have megalithic mound complexes upstate that go back three, four thousand years. The mound complex known as Watson Break is older than the pyramids, but it hasn't been studied much because it's on private land and the owners refuse to sell. Habitation of the New Orleans area doesn't go back that far, mostly just because this land is relatively new. There's, it's just alluvium here. I mean, it's, there's no bedrock, it's just mud. Uh, and as the Mississippi cuts a swath through the continent, it carries a huge amount of dirt and silt with it, which it dumps into the Gulf of Mexico when it extinguishes itself into the sea. That's how this land formed, and it only consolidated about 4,000 years ago. And as the coastline formed, human beings followed it. Uh, indigenous habitation of the New Orleans area goes back 2,500 years. Actually, in New Orleans East, archaeologists have found discarded shells that some ancient fishermen dumped there before the birth of Christ. And like most North American cities, New Orleans was built on top of the ruins of a Native American settlement. The open-air market called the French Market, which is today on Decatur Street and goes back to the 1790s, was the location of a thriving trading post long before Europeans ever arrived here. But maintaining a seasonal mercantile camp was one thing. Building a huge capital city in this flood-prone marsh was quite another, as Bienville and the French would soon find out. But in any case, it's about time we went down this ancient road. 